y'all welcome back to my channel hope you're all having a wonderful day if you're new here welcome my name is Jessie so today y'all I'm going to be doing a makeover on this wall behind my bed I have been wanting to do it for quite some time now but I'm finally getting around to do it it is going to be a longer project I'm going to be doing the full brick method on this wall and I'm so excited that's gonna be a long process a long project but I'm so excited to finally tackle it <laughs> I've been waiting to get the paint for it because it is so hard to get my hand on the paint color that I've been wanting because every time I go there's only like two or three so I was able to get enough now hopefully and I'm going to finally get this wall done so let's go ahead and get started I want to do it all with you by my side if you're in me me here tonight be brave and come along i'll be all right promise we don't need no break lights all right y'all so the wall is all cleared off everything is piled right here so my husband is starting to take off the trim pieces um that way we can go ahead and start putting on the tape so i have this one this one and then there's one right there that needs to get removed um, and then a couple screws up there as well and then we're going to go ahead and get started with the tape this is the tape that I'm going to be using for the um, the wall um, so I get this from Walmart and I believe Lowe's too in case you're looking for it this is what I'm using Alright y'all, so this is what the wall is looking like now. This trim has been removed. All the extra little pieces of paper are removed too. Um, any nails have been hammered in. We do need to remove these four screws up here. Um, we did remove a phone outlet there. Um, we're going to be stuffing it with the joint compound, but it does have some um, paper in there. But yeah, y'all, so we are getting ready to go ahead and put the tape on. So here, me and my husband are just um, putting on the tape. So he just hands me the end part of the tape and I go to my side and I put it on and then um, he puts it where he needs to and then I just go with the broom and then I just press it against the wall and make things a lot easier that way I didn't have to touch any of those screws or anything like that in the wall um, but yeah so this is what we did we went ahead and you know, we put all the lines all the way across and then I did the vertical lines myself to make the brick but yeah y'all this was a very long project but I love love doing this and I am so amazed with the results and I just love the way that it looks. I cannot get enough of this faux brick in my home. I just love it so much, especially now that I have um, made it my own way of doing it to where it looks more um, real instead of the fake way that I had it. Even though it is a faux brick, it just looks more real this way. Um, I just love it so much. So. Um, yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and just continue working on it. This is the finished product with the lines. So um, now I'm going to go ahead and put the um, vertical pieces to make the brick. Still you're the one who brings out the best of me. We're a little messy.
So now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the joint compound. So I am using a small little, um, it's like a little scraper spatula thing. And y'all, this is the small one. I have a set that has a larger one and I could not find it to save my life. Um, so this was taking forever and it was just tedious work. So I decided to do one section, finish it, pull the tape off real quick, and then go ahead and look for the um, bigger spatula. So here I am now, and as you can see, the uh, Rick outlines there and it's wide is because that part has already dried. Now I found the bigger spatula and I'm going to go ahead and put that all over the um, rest of the wall really quick. As you can see it goes on gray and then it dries kind of like white so um, yeah so I'm going to go ahead and finish putting this on all over the wall. We always get back up again. We're a little messed up So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the paint. So I'm going to be painting every single brick this reddish brown color. So as you can see, I'm starting on the side that's already dried and the other side is almost dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side and then as soon as the other side's dry, I'm going to go ahead and finish the wall. Now that the brick has been all painted and it is dry, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the grout. So I'm just taking my white paint and I'm just going in and filling in the grout. Um, if it gets on the brick, no biggie. This is, does not have to be perfect. The messier, the better. This is going to be German smeared and it is going to be very, very, very forgiving. So the size of the bricks that are, you know, as you can see, I have different sizes of bricks here. No problem. It's not going to show up that bad. Um, this wall is going to be very forgiving, but I am going to go ahead and fill in all of the grouts all over the wall. And then after I get done with that, I'm going to 
actually um, go over the brick, but I'll show you in the next step. So now I'm going in with my brush and I'm just dry brushing all over the brick very very lightly I have um, very 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 little um, paint on there and I'm just doing it very lightly now this is step you can customize to your liking if you do this um, I have learned that the less is the more for me I don't like too much um, the reason why I actually we did it in my kitchen is because I went I was heavy-handed in this part um, I added too much white and it was just too too much um, white for me and then the brown didn't shine through and I love the color of the red so um, yeah Now, as soon as I get done with that, I'm going to go ahead and start putting joint compound over the wall. I'm just putting it on there and scraping it in different directions, not heavy, just lightly, um, leaving some uh, parts of the wall exposed. And that is going to give me the German schmear look. I know it looks kind of weird right now, but trust me, trust the process. It is going to look absolutely beautiful, but to me anyways, I love the German schmear look. So. I'm going to go ahead and finish applying this all over the wall and then after this I will come back and show you exactly what it looks like. So here's what the bedroom looked like before. Definitely you can see plain Jane. It definitely needed some sprucing up. And I think this makeover just made it so beautiful. All right, y'all. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so homey, so cozy. It just made the room and also paired it with Three portraits of me and my husband in black and white over the bed instead of the sweet dream sign. I think this looks so much better. But yeah, y'all, comment below and let me know your thoughts. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all on the next one. All right, bye y'all.